Gemini, hi. How are you doing? Welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you are doing well. I am Sage Sunset and I'm an intuitive card reader. So I'm here with you today to present general messages for your next seven days ahead, Gemini. Let us get into your reading. Some of you are picking up the pieces, standing your ground, being stable in mind, maybe having to get rid of circumstances, situations, people, family, friends, jobs, anything that kept you attached to a past. You're wanting to move forward, move on, to release, to let go, to feel free. I feel like you're being patient. It could be that you're waiting on some money to come through for you so that you can make this move forward, right? Being patient, maybe being tolerant, um, maybe being even confident, trusting, being sure of yourself, being grounded, trusting in your emotions, Gemini, to take you to where you need to be. Prosperity here for you and success with the Sun card and the Seven of Pentacles energy and new beginnings coming through. Maybe moving past a stage of being indecisive, of having too much choices, of being dazzled and not really going with your heart space. Maybe you'll choose to go with your heart space. I see new beginnings of financial stability here for you. Moving forward, contemplating this movement. How do I go forward? What should I trust? So I feel like you're going to be trusting Gemini, your innate intuition, trusting in your gut feelings to move into the world that will be best serving to you. And sometimes this can be hard with the five of swords energy here. It can be hard to release, to let go of things that you know so well, people and you know friends, jobs, so that you can move on into something that you feel in your heart space is going to be better for you and i feel like the cards are saying if you move on you'll move into a new beginning of financial stability here there's love in your energy maybe an offering of love maybe someone don't want you to leave Maybe this, this is you offering your love to a person leaving. But I feel like this is you wanting to leave, Gemini. Not certain. Someone is in your life that wants to offer you some love, emotional stability. Maybe this is why you're not leaving. Your emotional connection to things or people, situations. This is you though. Deciding to be grounded and stable. Deciding to focus on what you have going for you. Being swift and direct. Someone could be spying in t on you, watching into your life, looking at what you are doing. This could be you looking at your options here, really looking into maybe going back to school and looking at colleges, what colleges will be best for you, what work situation, what emotional connection um, you need to really align with in order to move forward. But I feel like you're feeling good, you're feeling a bit freer, as if you have released some burdens are so and you're standing on your own ready to move forward in whatever direction is suiting to you a message could be coming in for some of you on your device a message maybe a warning of something brewing ahead well we have you being grounded knowing how to pick up the pieces and move forward for greater feeling of stability within yourself Maybe where you are at this point, Gemini, you feel a bit off balance, right? You're wanting to start over, to move away from what is normal to you, move forward into something that you feel will serve you. Swords energy again, some of you could be trapped or feeling trapped, feeling held down, weighed back, weighed down or held back by situations not thinking you can be released. It could be a job that you've been doing for many years. And you're really entangled in this business, not knowing how to move forward. This could be love. This could be a relationship that's holding you, holding on to you. Moving forward and away, we have the six of wands here into your creative nature, trusting into your wisdom, 
movement. We have both six here. Just really aligning, really move in, moving in alignment, moving swiftly to, to aligning to what's best for you here. Gemini energy moving into your prosperity, your abundance, your ability to be of service here, to stand up and stand out strongly, bravely here. Make decisions, making decisions that are best for you in your future. Hmm. The wheel of fortune. So I do feel like if you move forward, it will be a blessing. As if you'll be going into abundance and new, just new opportunities coming into you, right? Um, just going into a world where you feel more connected to your tribe, to your essence. Maybe you're moving, actually physically moving away. Could be emotionally shifting into a place of more stability in yourself. For example, if you were one that liked to be out in the crowd laughing and having fun, I feel like maybe you could be realizing that that lifestyle wasn't serving you much. As if on a deeper level you know that there's more to you and you're wanting to really explore that option here. Explore your natures. I feel like, oh my gosh, an abundance of emotional support coming your way. If you're leaving a love connection going forward, I feel like you left it behind. You left something behind and you're going forward and you're going to be receiving much more. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here and that's fortune in emotional support, affection, love, joy, fulfillment, just new beginnings of that emotional connection to yourself love this could be a love coming into your life it could be love from another person or a situation it could be that love you found in yourself it could be that you did went off to go find who you are and then you're coming into that place of just emotional fulfillment maybe you're some of you could be afraid that you're leaving this behind as if walking away from a connection that was emotionally fulfilling to you and we have hmm, being graceful, being grateful too, being of service, being full. I feel like you're getting compensation, rewards for what it is that you're doing, for like an acknowledgement of your efforts going forward here. Being disciplined too. Just being in a position of being of service is that, I feel like that's what you wanted just feel like you're living a more meaningful life the ace of pentacles prosperity in business maybe moving towards setting up your own business really establishing your sense of self see you've been working and I, now you have you have more to give because the labor of the fruits of your labor are really showing up here okay you're going you're being happy here it's coming through for you well oh my gosh the King of Cups energy here, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, gratitude, being the boss, the CEO, I feel like this has more to be to do with governing over your own emotions, your reactions, Move, just moving out of energies that's not serving you, Gemini, and moving more into maybe, as I said, maybe you were that person that liked going out, but now you're going to be more grounded more of a homebody, maybe starting a family, thinking of your future more, Gemini, in this energy. This could be someone coming into you with love, because we do see love offerings here, and these, these cards are powerful. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy moving into you. Maybe some of you are starting a family here, really deciding to settle down, Gemini. So there's love for you in the week ahead. So watch out for this new, this new rush of love coming into you, all right? And then there's this new beginning of money. So this could be a job that you started, some service that you're offering, or a business, right? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for you. The Five of Cups. So I feel like, ah, definitely I feel like you're, hmm, hold on. The Five of Cups energy here, I feel like it is you. This is where you're picking up and moving on from. And like realizing here that you do have a lot to be thankful for. With the two remaining cups here, you may have lost something. 
or you may feel like leaving something behind is not good. It's, you're, you're like, maybe you were seeing the cup half, half empty, but then when you re rise up, you're ready to really face the world that is ahead of you with another cup's energy here, which is brand new beginnings, seeing what you do have, making use of what you have. And when you feel like you have, then you have more to receive. That is how the law of attraction works, right? So focusing on what you have brings more to you, plentiful. So if you are in a connection, you know, sh you're being more appreciative and then so therefore more love is coming into you. And then we have the Knight of Cups card. This is love coming in, affection, joy, prosperity. It could be an invitation for you to go somewhere. We have a lot of love energy in your reading here for you this week. Energy, um, Gemini, right? So look out for that in your week coming up ahead. I appreciate this reading for you. Thank you so much, Gemini, for being here and being a part of this journey with me. Thank you so much, and I hope that we can continue on this journey together. Much love to you, Gemini. If you did appreciate this reading and you found it helpful, Give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for future uploads. Remember on your way out that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire, Gemini, because you are all and all is within you. Much love. Peace.